new YouTube channel. Wow. Not, hey guys, Zaryu here, but uh, hey guys, Josh here. Nice to meet you. So over the last many, many, many years, I've been uploading WOW content to the WOW channel. And there has been times that I have uploaded other types of content to the main WOW channel. Um, but a lot of you guys are like, Zar, we wanna see WOW, we wanna see gaming, we wanna see that. And that is understandable because you guys subscribed to the main channel for that reason. So over the last many years, it has been on my mind to talk about health, fitness, movement, lifestyle, nutrition, diet, mindset, all the stuff going on up in here, but sharing that with the gaming channel has been uh, difficult sometimes because people want to see gaming because that's what they subscribe for. So after a lot of procrastinating, much deliberation, and a lot of being trapped up in here, we have decided to make a second YouTube channel. Now this is an idea that I've been tossing around for some time on the, the Twitch page, up on the workout streams, on social media, I've been hinting at it and here we are, first video. Now I'm not recording with any special mic or lighting, I'm actually just sitting on the ground in my living room, but uh, <laughs> we'll see where this goes in the months and years to come. But I kind of want to address a lot of the questions that I continually get from people in the Twitch chat um, about health, fitness, and just kind of sit here and chat with you guys. And today's video topic is going to be out about the best type of workout for you. Um, and it might not be exactly what you think, and you'll see what I mean by that here in a second. And along the same lines, it could be um, a little bit more broad. What is the best type of nutrition plan for you or the best type of lifestyle for you, right? Um, but we're gonna keep it narrowed in and focused here on the best type of workout for you. Um, and I get this question a lot, like, hey, Zar, what is the best fat burning workout? Or maybe I should say, hey, Josh, what is the best fat burning workout? How do you get six pack abs? How do you start to learn, you know, how to handstand or all of these types of things? What workout should I be doing? I want to work out, but I want it to be effective. I want it to be getting me closer to my goals. And I want to actually see progress in the quickest way possible. How can I do that, Josh? What is going on here? And Here's the thing, it's a multi-pronged answer. Um, the first thing that comes to mind is there are optimal ways that we know from the current literature that optimize hypertrophy, that optimize strength gains, that optimize muscular endurance, to optimize um, mobility, to optimize all of these different things. So the first question I have to ask is, what is your goal? What is the end goal? And a lot of people, um, might have never asked themselves that question, or if they have answered that question, maybe they didn't answer truthfully. Like, oh, you know, I wanna put on, you know, muscle or, you know, it's just very vague. And they're like, like honestly, what's, what's the goal? What's the goal? Are you trying to impress, you know, him or her? Are you trying to, um, you know, build a physique to look good? Are you trying to become more mobile? Are you trying to learn more about yourself? Are you trying to do this? Or are you trying to do that? What is the actual goal here? is the first thing that we're kind of looking at in terms of what's the most effective workout plan. Because the most effective workout plan is going to get you to that goal, but it's also, when it's getting you closer to that goal, it's something that you can actually stick to and adhere to, and that's the point of this video. The best workout plan is the one you can actually adhere to and stick to, not necessarily what is going to be giving you the, um, most optimal results and and what i what i mean by that is if you're going to the gym and you're training for strength and you're hitting five by five um you know very standard strength pattern um rep and set scheme but that bores the heck out of you so you could only go on a wednesday and you're like you know friday and then by the next week you're like this is just boring and you can't keep it up now, all of a sudden, something that worked for someone else might not then work for you because you're not in it mentally. You're not excited about it, right? We want to get you onto a type of program or something that really 
keeps you motivated, keeps you going. And that, my friends, is gonna be different for everybody. For me, I like training with my body weight. I like building mobility. I like building strength through range so I can do things like handstand push-ups and one-arm chin-ups and pistol squats and Nordic curls and that kind of stuff is fun for me and exciting to see myself progress week to week and month to month and year to year and get stronger and build that range of motion and build the strength and I love that. So for me, training for strength in a particular way that optimizes strength training, um, that which is all the stuff in the body weight program, is the stuff that I love doing. And I can stick to that consistently. Now, there was a question on the stream the other day of like, hey, Zar, do you think it would be a good idea to, uh, I keep saying Zar, but Josh, would it be a good idea to hit a workout and um, or hit, sorry, hit a, you know, a, an arena session that every loss I do, you know, 10 pushups, you know, and then it's a very legitimate question. And it's a multi-pronged answer. Once again, is that a good thing to do? Well, it's better than nothing. And if that's going to keep you motivated, that's going to keep you doing more pushups than if you weren't doing that. And that's the one thing that you're like, I could actually stick to that. Then yes, do that thing, right? That's awesome. That's really, really, really cool. If you can stick to that and you can get it rolling and you can keep up that momentum by making it into a game, gamifying it, then great. Now, if you're a strength athlete and you're randomly doing 10 push-ups after every loss, and what if you win 10 games in a row, then you're just not doing a workout. It's not optimal by any means, right? No. Like if you want to optimize your results, not the play, my friend, not the play. But for that person that is maybe not super motivated and this is the one way that you can actually stick to it for a long time start seeing results and then get more into it and then inch more into it and then inch more into it then that's phenomenal that's really really cool um so to expand on the topic a little bit um i would also much rather see someone doing something that they can stick to consistently for many 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 um, weeks, months, years, or for their entire life, then doing something that might not be sustainable, that might mean you fall off the bandwagon after a couple of weeks. So, um, for example, if you are looking at two different training programs for a you know, specific individual, and the first training program is six days a week, or let's just say five days a week, and it's uh, you know, maybe six days a week PPL, and you're doing push-pull legs twice um, in each week, but that individual's new to working out and six days a week is this daunting thing, but they go like, oh, I'm super motivated, let's do it. So you hop on the PPL six day a week split, right? And we see this a lot. And the first week goes by and you see someone, they stick to it for that first week and it's hard, but they get through it and they're feeling good. And that second week comes through and maybe they hit five out of the six workouts. And that third week comes through and life gets in the way you're not feeling as motivated and then you go a week or two off and that week or two turns into a couple months and then all of a sudden you're thinking, all right, I need to get started on another workout program, right? Now, if that six day a week plan, there was nothing wrong with that. There was nothing wrong with that six day a week plan, but the individual maybe couldn't stick to it that early on, right? So I would much rather see someone work out even one day a week, full body one day a week, but no matter what, you do not let life get in the way. No matter what, unless you're in the hospital unconscious, there is nothing stopping you from doing that one day a week workout full body. I would say two thumbs up. You gotta build that momentum. You gotta build showing up. Then from there, you could do two days a week, then three, but you cannot miss that one day. So what I mean by that is every, say Saturday, you have an hour from like, say 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. or 9 to 10, whatever it is, where you dedicate 100% I am going to be here. I don't care if, you know, so-and-so calls me. It's like, I'm busy. I'm working out, right? I'm, this is the time I'm doing this. Now, from there, once you develop this identity, you can then put it to two days to three days a week. And I would still much rather see someone on a two-day week split, upper body Monday, lower body Friday, that they actually stick to for six months or a year and then build up from there than to see somebody that six month and fall off. All right. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of end the video with, once again, to wrap back kind of where we started is everyone's different. Someone might really, really like going on a hike, you know, maybe your significant other doesn't like lifting weights, but they love going on a hike, going on a bike ride, going for a swim. And 
more power to them. If that is the type of movement that they can adhere to long term, that they enjoy, that they're feeling fulfilled on, then that is fantastic. Not everyone needs to be a strength athlete. Not everyone needs to be an endurance athlete. Not everyone needs to care about muscle hypertrophy, right? But if you can stick to something in the long run, you know, you're, you're building um, some type of muscular endurance, hypertrophy, strength, or just getting outside, getting the vitamin D on the skin, getting that sunlight, getting the, you know, jumping into a, a lake or a river and just getting outside, that can be super, super healthy for the body, for the mind, for the spirit. That's pretty much why I'm making this video of, guys, everyone out there has a type of movement that you can stick to. Whether that's basketball with some friends, whether that's skating with some homies, whether that's hitting a body weight workout like I like to, there's a type of movement out there that the hour is going to go by before you know it. And that becomes the thing that you look forward to most in the day because you're getting dopamine, you're getting endorphins, you're getting excited. And every day that becomes the, the highlight of the day of like, oh, I get to move today. All right? I get to move again today. So what's the best type of workout, the best fat burning workout, the best whatever, it's the one you can stick to, right? And that frequency should keep that in mind. The type of workout should keep that in mind and be honest with yourself. Look yourself in the mirror and be like, honestly, what can I stick to? Is that one day a week? Is that two days a week? Is that a hike? Is that a swim? Is that some weights, All right? And for me, right now at least, I've gone through many you know stages of my training career, but right now I really like body weight training. I've done a lot of barbell training as well, which is a lot of fun. And for me, that's what I can stick to. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, it's the first video here on the Josh Lujan channel. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and a thumbs down if you didn't. I'm really curious what you guys thought of this format, the content, and what other questions you want me to answer. So leave your comments down below in the video. If you watched this far, I'm really proud of you. So thank you so much for listening to me ramble. If you like this video and you want more, let me know. We have a bunch of questions I want to answer if you guys want to get it maybe into vlogs, maybe into lifestyle, maybe into fitness, full workouts, um, day in the life of eating, all that type of stuff. So uh, lots to come, a lot of plans. Maybe we'll just sit here and talk to the camera some more. <laughs> One way or another, guys, we do have that full program that I mentioned, the bodyweight program linked down below as well if you guys want to check that out. And have a great day.